Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Dr. Meyer and his team ran tests on the fossilized remains, concluding that the winged humans were a nomadic people that roamed the earth in mass groupings or flocks. These winged humans were a civilized people, said Dr. Meyer. They used tools and built houses. They may have even developed their own language. Additional tests found that the winged humans could fly at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour and at altitudes of over 6,000 feet. On the border between Guinea and Mali, a giant statue 150 meters high is carved into a granite mountain. The figure, called the Lady of Mali, is 1.5 kilometers above the ground, or rather, above an abyss. Geological studies have established its age at 20,000 years. What Paleolithic civilization had the technology to create statues of such gigantic size? Villainy, fairy tales, legends, and myths were not born out of nothing. Adherents of the theories about a race of giants, which lived on Earth in the past, have received new evidence. A giant footprint was found on the territory of southern Africa. It was found in Swaziland. The footprint, like a human, reaches 120 centimeters in length. According to scientists, it could well have been left by a prehistoric giant. And Darwin's theory of evolution can now be thrown out of school textbooks, because it cannot explain it. Perfect. 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 Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This is not Egypt. And this is a photo of an ancient pyramid located somewhere on the Puterana Plateau. However, it will hardly be possible to find it with the help of the program Google Earth, because, as the candidate of physical and mathematical sciences S. Saul testifies, during last 8 to 10 years, many interesting information on satellite pictures, obviously belonging to man-made constructions of ancient Arctic for homeland of people of the white race, were blatantly obscured so that there are not many questions. A stone head from Guatemala. Half a century ago, deep in the jungles of Guatemala, searchers found a giant monument, a stone head of a man of enormous size. The searchers were very surprised by their find. The face had the distinct features of a white man and was drastically different from any of the pre-Hispanic civilizations of South America. The find quickly attracted attention, but it was also quickly forgotten and information about the statue fell off the pages of history. Researchers believe that the statue's facial features depicted a representative of an ancient civilization that was much more advanced than the natives before the arrival of the Spaniards. Nevertheless, the giant stone statue existed, and there is no reason to believe that the photograph is a fake. So, where did it come from? Who created it? And why? Table Mountain 
Mount Rurema is the most famous and also the highest Venezuelan Tepui, Table Mountain, reaching a height of 2810 meters. It is located at the junction of Brazil, state of Rurema. Notice the mountain that it is not only flattened on the sides, but also on top, as a flat area, as if it was cut by a huge saw. What do you think, natural or man-made? Do smart ancient people. It is no secret that the knowledge of the same structure of the wandering stars, astronomy, distances of wandering stars and stars, all this, was known to many civilizations of the past. And this is not just words, but a fact confirmed by many findings, from star charts, to chronicles describing the structure of the wandering stars and the stars beyond. Obviously, without equipment and technology, it is impossible to study firmament in principle. And many of the knowledge, our civilization has received quite recently, but judging by all appearances, some ancient civilizations knew thousands of years ago no less. But how, this is another question. At the pyramid of Amenemhat II, pieces of a quartzite sarcophagus, abandoned by archaeologists, are lying on the sand. A perfect creation and magnificent workmanship. Analysis of the samples of this sarcophagus under an electron microscope would baffle even Egyptologists and historians of repute. The pieces do not show signs of copper and tin, in other words, neither copper nor bronze tools were used in its manufacture, and the Egyptians did not have others. As for the tools, the quartz crystals were not knocked out of the machine's surface at all, but chipped, indicating mechanical with a high velocity of the tool. These are signs of high technology, which the Egyptians did not have. Nor did people in general for many centuries. According to official history, of course. Mehia, Tohua, French Polynesia. Statues of strange creatures have been found on the island of Nukuheva, part of the Marquesas archipelago, at Temehia Tohua. Disproportionate torsos, elongated heads with large mouths and eyes. Archaeologists state the creation of the mysterious statues to about 10th to 11th centuries. Why did the natives make them? According to the official version, they are monuments to priests in ritual masks. But it is strange that the masks themselves were not found on the island. Hence the assumption that Nukuhiva was once visited by aliens, and the locals imprinted their appearance in stone. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.